Welcome to Barry's Lab. I'm Dave Barry. I'm here to walk you through how to 3D design and print a Q-Stick stand. I'm using Fusion 360 for the design of the Q-Stick stand, and I will be using Cura 3.6 in order to slice the model. And then I print it on a Creality Ender 3 printer. So let's get started. Some of the basics of the pool stick holder is that I'm using a cue that has a diameter of 33 millimeters. I'm going to have the base diameter of 100 millimeters so that it doesn't tip easily. That could be subject to redesign where it needs to be a little bit bigger than 100 millimeters, but that I can leave that up to you when you test it. Or an, This project uses threading so that I can thread two pieces together so that it easily fits into a cue case. For instance, if I were to build the cue stick stand to hold one pool cue, it would be bigger than what the side bag is on a pool stick case. So it would be hard to carry back and forth to your pool matches. So the design uses threading to connect the stand and the base together. Let's proceed with some of the pictures. Here's a picture of a pool stick, which is a Sean Limited, or Sean Limited, however you pronounce it, standing in a printed cue stick holder. As mentioned, the cue stick holder is two pieces. There's the base and the holder. It screws together to create the stand. I measured the Sean Limited pool cue that I have to be 33 millimeters. That's what the inside diameter of the holder is and if you go out to my links you'll see similar shown pool sticks limited and otherwise. Okay starting with the design you open Fusion 360 and you create a new project. You select a plane draw a 100 millimeter circle on the outside draw a 25 millimeter circle on the inside we extrude that ring to make it 10 millimeters Actually, I've expanded it to 10 millimeters because there was a lot of play in the base at only 5 millimeters. And then I threaded the hole with an M25 by 2 thread. Make sure that you click Modeled on the thread so that the threads will be saved when you do the 3D print. And going forward, I'll show you the specifics in Fusion 360. Here are the specifics in Fusion 360. I have 100 millimeters for the outside diameter, 25 millimeters to the inside diameter. I select the ring. I extrude it 10 millimeters, as I mentioned before. I thread the hole so that it's M25 by 2. I click the modeled checkbox so that it models the threads. I then 3D print the base. Make sure that Send to 3D Print Utility is not checked. Um, click on Save. It'll ask for a file name. Select um, STL for the file type. Type in the, the file name and save it. We now use Cura in order to slice the model. Open the part in Cura. The part was put on the proper plane so it doesn't need to be rotated. If you look at the clip with the holder, you'll see that it wasn't on the proper plane. It needed to be rotated. If you want to know how to rotate an image using Kira, you can watch that part of the video. Some of the things that you need to ensure are turned off in Kira at this point in time is that it doesn't do any support. So if you look under support on the right hand side, you'll see generate support. That needs to be unchecked because if it's not, the threads won't be printed cleanly and you will not be able to thread the two pieces together. If it is checked, uncheck it and saving it to a file. Give it the file name, the G code that gets sent to the printer in order for it to print. And you're off and running with a printable file. If you want to start that printing, we will now move on to the holder part. Some of the main dimensions are the holder is going to be 36 millimeters in diameter. We're going to extrude to 60 millimeters length. We're going to thread a 25 millimeter end so that it can screw into the base. We're only going to do that 5 millimeters down so it doesn't extend beyond the bottom. We're going to use an M25 by 2 thread. 
Uh, we're going to create a 33 millimeter circle that we can extrude or push pull into the center that will hold the stick. We'll push that down 50 millimeters so that it doesn't cross over the thread area. Then we'll do two fillets. One fillet will be to curve the bottom of the chamber so that it 3D prints properly without support. And we do a small fillet at the top so that the stick goes in easily. So moving forward, this is the Fusion 360 slides. We start out with a 38 millimeter circle. I had said 36 millimeter. I was incorrect. Then we extrude it 60 millimeters, as I had said. We then spin it around so that we can create the threads. We draw a 25 millimeter circle on the center. We push pull slash extrude that five millimeters. We then thread that circle with an M25 by two thread. Note that we have modeled checked on the right hand side. That if you don't check that, then it will not render it properly when you do the 3D printing. Then we spin the cylinder around away from the threads so that we can draw a 33 millimeter circle on the top. We push pull slash extrude that 50 millimeters. We then do a 17 millimeter fillet on the bottom so that it's curved. This is so that it will 3D print more smoothly. It won't need any support because the sport causes problems with the threading. Then we do a fillet on the inside ring so that the pool stick will slide in more easily. And then if we turn it sideways and do an x-ray view, you can see how the chamber that holds the pool stick is curved so that it will print properly. We then 3D print as uh, so very similar to what we did with the base. Select 3D printer, select file name, Make sure we don't print to the print utility and we save it to a file, an STL file. We then open that file with Cura 3.6. You notice that in this one we need to rotate it because it was designed on the, the wrong plane or the plane that doesn't come up on the Z axis properly in Cura. So we select it, we turn on rotate, we rotate it so it's vertical, so it'll print properly. Um, make sure that there's no support turned on. If you look on the right, we've unchecked the support box so it doesn't print any support. If we printed support, the, the threads would not print properly and it would not thread together very well. We save that out to a G-code file and then we send it to the printer. In conclusion, this is a quick demo on how to create a threaded pool stick holder. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe and like if you liked it. If you look, I've created links with the model of the pool stick that I used for my demo. It's not the exact same pool stick, but it's a shown limited. You'll also notice that I have the low deflection shaft that I'm using. It's an OB2 shaft. It's a very decent shaft for making the cue ball react more crisp when you shoot the shots. I've also included some links to some upgrades for the printer because during this process I had problems and had to replace some of the parts just because of wear and tear on the printer. You'll also notice that I added a couple tools that you can use, such as the Bowden tube cutter and the caliper for measuring. So please use these links. I also included a link to the PLA that I printed this with. Thank you very much.